hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will be uh, winding up the topic of physical topologies and in the physical topologies till now we have covered the mesh topology the star topology and the bus topology now this is the fourth kind of topology that is the ring topology now in the ring topology every device will have a dedicated point to point link but not to all the other devices with only the two devices that are present on either side of it so if this is a ring topology consisting of four devices a b c and d then as you can see each device has two connections a is connected to two devices present on either side b and d c is connected to two devices d and b and c does not have any connection with the device a and so on okay so now in ring topology the signal is passed in one direction only so this is a very important point you must remember so uh, in one direction only now this in point is important because see if a has to communicate with c and the uh, device or all the devices have agreed upon that the movement of the signal would be clockwise that means a will be sending data to b and b will be sending data to c even if a wants to send data to d and it has a direct connection here it will not use this direct connection because the network the ring topology has its rules that signal will travel only in one direction so that direction will be a to b b to c and then c to d that is why this point becomes extremely important the direction will be decided by all the devices it will be a common agreement but there will be only one direction either clockwise or anti clockwise starting from a particular device now in ring topology each device includes a repeater in itself so as you can see in the diagram also each device has a blue colored box this blue colored box is basically the repeater a repeater is a device that makes the signal stronger so when a is sending data to b and b knows that this particular message is not actually uh, b itself is not the destination it is not intended to receive this message so what it will do it will repeat this signal with higher strength so that when this signal is sent forward so as to reach the final destination d it does not become weak its strength does not become less during transmission so every device repeats the signal which is actually has to be which actually has to be forwarded to other devices through this ring topology okay now uh, an example of the ring topology is the ibm's local area network known as token ring now as you can judge from the name the token ring basically involves the usage of token ring token tokens are basically they govern that who is going to transmit the data see there can be a situation when b wants to send data to d and a also wants to send data to c so if b also starts sending and a also starts sending then it might happen that their data might collide and they become garbage so there must be a mechanism to decide how it will be uh, decided who is going to transmit data next this is decided with the help of tokens so tokens basically tell you whose chance it is to transmit every device in the ring topology gets a token token you can assume like a physical uh, physical coin that every team member who is standing in the ring will get the physical coin once and if he has to say something he will use its token otherwise he will forward the token to the next person and if the next device in this ring has to send some data it will use its token in that when whenever he gets the token he will send the data at that time no other device will send the data 
each device will get the token at some point and only then they will be sending data so that proper communication can happen okay now the advantages of ring topology is that again it is easy to install every device has to be connected to only two other devices there are scalability advantages also so even if new devices have to be added every device will only need two new connections okay so if a new device has to be added here this old link connecting a and d will be broken down and new links connecting the new device to d and the new device to a will be set up so it is very easy to create a larger network also to add and delete devices uh, in a ring topology again identification and isolation of faults are also easy so if a particular link becomes faulty it can be very easily understood that where the entire problem is in the network because that communication is not happening between only those two devices because it is a dedicated link this this is always an advantage of the dedicated link now the disadvantage is the unidirectional nature of signal transmission okay unidirectional nature of signal transmission see as i have explained you with the example also if a has to send data to d it has to take the entire uh, road from a to b b to c c to d even if there was a direct connection from a to d okay so this actually creates problems it might lead to a lot of time being consumed and that is why it is one of the biggest disadvantages of the ring topology now coming to the last kind of topology which is the hybrid topology now in case of hybrid topology you can use any of these four topologies that we have discussed till now the mesh the star the bus and the ring topologies and you can combine them to form a new kind of network structure so basically when the network structure is based on more than one physical topology more than one such physical topology then that combination is known as the hybrid topology so hybrid topologies are basically developed to combine the advantages and to eliminate the disadvantages of a single topology okay so in this case this hybrid topology consists of a hub and there are many connections going out through this hub so it is a star topology in one way and this particular line which is getting connected each of the individual channels that are connected through the hub are actually following bus topology so this particular hybrid topology is a combination of bus and star topology okay so you can develop different combinations as per requirements there is no restriction on how a hybrid topology will be developed what will be its exact structure this is one of the examples of a hybrid topology so that's all for today's video i hope you have understood all kinds of topologies the mesh star bus ring and hybrid topologies thank you for watching if you like this video please let us know in the comment section below uh, till we meet in the next video mind your exam